Ami Kozak may be a musician, he may be a comedian, but he seems to me like a kind of guy who's got his head screwed on straight. Uh, here he is with Dave Smith and with Candace Owens, and they're talking about something which is so often denied, which is that the motivation of the so-called Palestinians and the pro-Palestinian movement, whatever it is, it's jihadism. And he traces it back uh, to the beginnings of Islam when Muhammad was wiping out Jewish tribes. And the idea that you should wipe out Jewish tribes and defeat Jewish people, defeat Judaism, make them into a second-class citizen. He then goes on to say uh, that, that it's terrorism that leads to occupation, and the answer is the end of terrorism, that'll be the end of occupation. Here he makes a little bit of a mistake. All right, let's take a look at what Ami says, says it clearly, says it bravely, and we'll discuss it right after uh, we see that segment. In the uh, Islamic world, going back to the beginning, if you go to protests today and you hear chants in Arabic, they're not saying two states side by side, liber uh, liberation for the West Bank for a free state of Palestine alongside Israel. They're saying Khaybar Khaybar Yar Yahud. And what is that reference to? Khaybar Khaybar Yar Yahud? The battle of Khaybar in which Muhammad came across the Jews and he gave them a choice, convert to Islam or submit and become dhimmis and second class citizens. And this is what's animated the entire region and the expulsion of Jews throughout all of the Arab countries in the Arab world. And so the, the need for a sense of uh, Jewish safety in the region, I think, is super important and not to be discounted. And my fundamental point is that I do not think it's occupation that leads to terrorism. It's terrorism that leads to occupation. In other words, the only reason these things perpetuate is because Israel is continually attacked. And if you want the solution to stop, you have to have goodwill on the Palestinian side to commit to not wanting to kill the Jews in Israel and attack them. And I think leaving Gaza in 2005 was a perfect example of that. What did happen? We, you know, I know you've heard these points before, Dave, that greenhouses and infrastructure were left there. Hamas takes over, kills their political opponents, fellow Muslims, Fatah, and establishes a, a terrorist statelet using all the international aid and funding to fire rockets and attack at Israel. Invade Israel on October 7th, breaking a ceasefire. So accountability, I'm not denying suffering of what you're talking about for local populations, but who's accountable for that? And at a certain point, you can't say Israel is. All right, so Ami Kozak uh, uh, does a lot right here. He does a lot right, and I respect him, and I respect the fact that he's taken on Candace Owens and, and the, the counter-Israel, the anti-Israel narrative. Good stuff. The only thing is, you have to say it clearly. Occupation? There's no occupation for one simpler reason. It's not we're there because of terrorism. We're there because it's our land. We're there because it's our land. It's our land. We're not occupying anybody else's land. And yes, we've had to go into our land sometimes because of terrorism, because the terrorists are building up bases in these places. Yes, that's true. And that's probably what we're going to have to do in Gaza. But the real reason to be in Gaza in the first place is because it's our land and we should hold on to our land. And to be big and strong in the Middle East is a way to survive. It's a survival mechanism. So Ami uh, says a lot of beautiful things, and he's right about the beginnings of Islam and, and uh, Muhammad's attack on the Jewish people, on Jewish tribes. And it's true that, that, that in pro-Palestinian, anti-Israel rallies, they call for Itbach el Yehud, call the destruction of the Jews in Chaybar, and remembering how the Jewish tribes were destroyed by Muhammad. That's true. But that's not the thing that leads to occupation. No, no, no. It doesn't lead to occupation. It's our land. We want to live in our land. We love our land. Uh, but the jihadism reminds us that we always have to be at the ready and ready to fight. Okay. I hope uh, we understand that distinction. Uh, but thank you, Ami, anyway, uh, for, for an awesome uh, defense of Israel. And remember, the best offense, no, the best defense is a, is a strong offense. That's the way it has to be out there. we got to be out there, not just defending, but fighting hard uh, for our rights. God bless you, folks. Subscribe to the channel. Lots of love and lots of blessings. Shalom.